What is the purpose of class methods? I'm teaching myself Python and my most recent lesson was that Python is not Java, and so I've just spent a while turning all my class methods into functions. I now realize that I don't need to use class methods for what I would done with static methods in Java, but now I'm not sure when I would use them. All the advice I can find about Python class methods is along the lines of newbies like me should steer clear of them, and the standard documentation is at its most opaque when discussing them. Does anyone have a good example of using a class method in Python or at least can someone tell me when class methods can be sensibly used? Class methods are for when you need to have methods that aren't specific to any particular instance, but still involve the class in some way. The most interesting thing about them is that they can be overridden by subclasses, something that's simply not possible in Java static methods or Python's module level functions. If you have a class my class, and a module level function that operates on my class, factory, dependency injection stub, etc., make it a class method. Then it'll be available to subclasses. Factory methods, alternative constructors, are indeed a classic example of class methods. Basically, class methods are suitable anytime you would like to have a method which naturally fits into the namespace of the class, but is not associated with a particular instance of the class. As an example, in the excellent Unipath module, current directory, path, Dot CWD, return the actual current directory, for example, part slash tmp slash my underscore temp underscore dear. This is a class method. Dot dear, make self the current directory. As the current directory is process wide, the CWD method has no particular instance with which it should be associated. However, changing the CWD, to the directory of a given path instance should indeed be an instance method. Home. As path.cwd does indeed return a path instance, I guess it could be considered to be a factory method. Think about it this way. Normal methods are useful to hide the details of dispatch, you can type myobj.foo without worrying about whether the foo method is implemented by the myobj objects class or one of its parent classes. Class methods are exactly analogous to this, but with the class object instead, they let you call myclass.foo without having to worry about whether foo is implemented specially by myclass because it needed its own specialized version, or whether it is letting its parent class handle the call. Class methods are essential when you are doing setup or computation that precedes the creation of an actual instance, because until the instance exists you obviously cannot use the instance as the dispatch point for your method calls. A good example can be viewed in the SQL Alchemy source code, take a look at the BAPI class method at the following link. This URL. You can see that the BAPI method which a database backend uses to import the vendor-specific database library it needs on demand, is a class method because it needs to run before instances of a particular database connection start getting created, but that it cannot be a simple function or static function, because they want it to be able to call other, supporting methods that might similarly need to be written more specifically in subclasses than in their parent class. And if you dispatch to a function or static class, then you forget and lose the knowledge about which class is doing the initializing. I recently wanted a very lightweight logging class that would output varying amounts of output depending on the logging level that could be programmatically set. But I didn't want to instantiate the class every time I wanted to output a debugging message or error or warning. But I also wanted to encapsulate the functioning of this logging facility and make it reusable without the declaration of any globals. So I used class variables and the at class method decorator to achieve this. With my simple logging class, I could do the following. Then, in my code, if I wanted to spit out a bunch of debugging information, I simply had to code. Error 
numbers could be output with. In the production environment, I can specify. And now, only the error message will be output. The debug message will not be printed. Here's my class. and some code that tests it just a bit. <laughs> 